Welcome to our channel, The Gifts of God. We wish you a blessed day. May God bless all who are watching this video. Father Jim Blunt is contemplating a profound vision forecasting four impending disasters as well as the anticipated return of Jesus Christ. In his dream, he imagines a day full of mystery and dread, when the foundation of existence is about to be tested. He is both amazed and terrified at the thought of Jesus' impending return because he knows it will impact the very foundation and faith of humanity. Father Jim, with a heavy heart, reflects on the severity of the impending disasters that will befall humanity, leaving people shocked and skeptical. We hope you enjoy the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest information. Join us and listen to this video until the last moment. Type Amen if you believe, God always blesses you. Many people have believed that the end of the world will come when Jesus returns at some point in history. This belief is found in many religions and in stories passed down through generations. They see Jesus' second coming as a significant, frightening, and promising event, full of mystery. They are unsure of exactly what will happen, but they know that when Jesus returns, we will discover something profound, something sacred and unique, about humanity and the universe. Yesterday, South America witnessed a remarkable phenomenon called the Sound of Jesus. All witnesses were mesmerized by the exquisite beauty and echoing ability of the sound. Some described it as a beautiful, soothing song, seemingly emanating from heaven. Some compared it to a choir of angelic voices, bringing a deep sense of reverence and tranquility to the atmosphere. Jesus' voice, in whatever form it appeared, brought about a profound spiritual awakening in all who heard it, leaving a lasting sense of awe and wonder. Before discussing today's message, let us pray, offering a prayer to God the Father, O Supreme God, in the name of Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, who sacrificed himself to save us, your pitiful children, from the fires of hell, hear our prayers. We offer you our humble sacrifices. We accept challenges and sufferings as a means to bring redemption to souls in the warning. We beseech you to grant mercy to sinners who feel difficult to return and accept your divine mercy, so that they may offer the necessary sacrifices and repent before you. Amen. Now I will convey this message to each of you, my beloved children. Receive the help of your father's family. Pray for those children of mine who do not worship my divine son and give the rosary to those who enter their lives with the intention of making them forget and reject my divine Son and follow the path of the devil. There will be severe consequences for these people. May 13th is the day Jesus will return. It is believed that Jesus' return will be a remarkable, life-changing, and anticipated event. That day will come when it seems like the heavens will part, revealing the majesty and glory of God. There will be an excitement and anticipation in the air as the scheduled time approaches. Clouds may become ominous, and the earth may tremble under the weight of this momentous occasion. There will be a supernatural power in the air, as if reality is about to change. An unspoken understanding that something magnificent is about to happen will unite people from all walks of life. The earth will experience a profound silence seemingly echoing through eternity as the moment draws near. This silence is called the Great Silence. And then, Jesus will return in glory in the heavenly light. He will shine brightly and unmistakably, illuminating the darkness with indescribable light. There will be a sense of satisfaction and tranquility beyond words when he arrives. The weary will find rest, the brokenhearted will find comfort, and the lost will find their way home in his presence. The day of Jesus' return will not just be a fleeting event, it will mark a significant change in the history of creation. That day will witness the fulfillment of human hopes and historical promises. There will be much joy and celebration on that day as the King of Kings rightfully ascends to the throne. Therefore, let us give thanks and praise as the day of Jesus' return draws near, for he who was lost will be found, and he who was dead will live forever. When someone enters the lives of my children with the intention of making them forget and reject my divine son, they are praying, saying the rosary, and engaging in satanic activities. These are children who do not worship my son. There will be severe consequences for these people. 
Grow in my womb, seek a place of reverence in my heart, and get to know my divine son. I wish you well, I honor you, and I protect you with the hands of my mother. Revelation 22 verse 12 says, Behold, I am coming soon. I have my reward, and I will give to each person according to what they have done. The imminent return of Jesus Christ is deeply reminded in Revelation 22 verse 12. It is Jesus himself who announces his impending return in this line, reinforcing the belief that his second coming is the foundation of Christian eschatology. The idea of God's judgment is emphasized by the remark, My reward is with me, and I will repay each person according to what they have done. It emphasizes people's responsibility for their behavior and the consequences of that action. This idea is consistent with some teachings in the Bible that emphasize the value of moral behavior and ethical living. This phrase also assures us that Jesus will return not only as a judge but also as a rewarder. This implies that those who are faithful to God's plan and obedient to it will be rewarded accordingly. Overall, Revelation 22 verse 12 calls for readiness and obedience in anticipation of Jesus' return. It achieves this by encapsulating themes of accountability, judgment, and sacred justice. Now let's pray together, O Jesus Christ, who has given us Mary, your mother, an image that we honor as a mother always ready to help us, grant us, we beseech you, that we who constantly seek help from your mother may deserve to enjoy the eternal rewards of your redemption. Who will reveal and live forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's topic? Please leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the bell button to receive notifications when there's a new video. May your moments of adoration before Christ's presence be filled with His grace and love. May you find solace and strength in His embrace. Amen.